Ja, jetzt sind wir hier bei Lorenzo Bellonese. Der spannende Tag beginnt. Wir werden wahrscheinlich erstmal die Boutique anschauen, dann das Museum, das Atelier und so weiter. Also, das ist eigentlich ein Traum, weil das ist, ich sage es mal so, wie man sich artisanale Parfümerie eigentlich vorstellt. Also, wir werden es filmen und das seht ihr es auch. It was very much into the ancient world. And in a way, this link with aromatics allows you to, to put together the ancient world and the future. There is a lot of research as well around smells, as you know. Uh, but it's, it's like a thread. So during the years, we spent a lot of time and explaining <laughs> people what is the fury, how you make perfumes. It, it, it was also a question of explaining the world, you know. Founding a, 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 the, the maison and the brand was like a secondary. First came the, really, the encounter with the aromatic world. I mean, we're still doing a great, a great job in researching. Because every time we read something and you step on, I don't know, a piece of um, ancient poetry talking about saints, uh, or the legend of some kind of raw material being brought from a faraway land. It's fascinating, it's fascinating. But it's more than that. I mean, during the centuries, the importance of the aromatics was, has been really much greater than we can perceive today. And uh, new countries were discovered because of that, and navigation took one path or the other. So we decided that, I mean, as soon as Lorenzo managed to reacquire enough space in the house, because it used to be his grandmother's, then it was sold, then he bought it back in the little set. I would like to do a project about scents. You can speak about perfumes from, well, of course, an economic point of view, then a botanical point of view, a scientific, chemical point of view, historical, uh, and, and, and so on. And so we couldn't make an, an emotional, not to mention, a memory and, and perception and whatever you want. So we couldn't make an encyclopedia. We decided to make a museum like a space in which at least you could get a hint of how much there is beyond the world. And then, according to personal curiosity, you can go deeper into one or the other of the subjects that we, we, we present. In fact, the, the real project is still to make a museum and academy. I mean, we want, we want, we made the museum, but the purpose is also, little by little, to build something around that, because there is so much that can be said. And people are curious of that, you know. Uh, so many people are working in the perfumery business that they never realize what is patchouli, what is vetiver. It's also a question of knowledge, uh -huh. which is why we completed the museum with a collection of live plants. We are talking about showing the plant. No, it's not more than that. Yeah. So it's, uh, I'm personally very enthusiastic about that because I like the idea of not only showing the spice and presenting the smell, but also the plant. And it's interesting to understand that it comes from nature, even with young people coming. When you see that there is a leaf that has a smell, I think it's more, it's easier to understand why it turned to be fascinating for somebody in the past. It's completely different because, I mean, of course, extracts mm. are concentrated, and then when you say too much, very often it's already a compound. Yeah. And so on. But to smell things in nature, and I think really helps understanding that it's like an inspiration at the yeah. time. Yeah. And it's very difficult to for a perfumer. I mean, there are flowers that, you know, like gardenia, you can spend your life trying to create the yeah. gardenia. Yeah. So it's, uh... Wow. <laughs> It's quite bitter and it's used with, uh, to, to make a liquor which is very yeah. famous. 
uh, and it's called Citrus Myrtifolia because the, the leaf is much like, smaller like myrtle. Yeah. And uh, but we had the school of, of uh, fragrances in grass that was curious to see the Pinocchio, so I added it to, to the collection. Yeah. And uh, uh, well, that you'll see it downstairs. This is cardamom. And, uh, because the fruit is a bit too sharp. Only the leaves? Mainly yeah. the leaves. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's Other it's citrus? Asian. Yeah, yeah, it, it's used for Costco.
Thank you.